this is the computer that we were having a problem with this morning. Um, I'm going to show you guys how I can go ahead and fix the problems that were going on here. So, watch what I'm doing. I'm looking, as I can see that the profiles are here, which I don't see any profiles, so we're going to have to rebuild it because I did just upgrade this video driver to the latest version, which is 19.2.3 Adrenaline Driver from AMD. I'm going to set the values at uh, 900 for the voltage uh, and then frequency of default is 2150 and we're going to set the uh, memory voltage as well as the 900 and we're going to set the memory speed to 1175. After we do that we're going to go ahead and save this profile so I can load it up on, on additional computers. Hang on a moment. Let me get this all set up. So if you look and see, right here, uh, all the drivers loaded up for the video card. Now, when we sh showed you earlier from the cell phone, the cards had all a bunch of explanation points. They weren't loading. And uh, for some reason throughout the day, it decided to go ahead and just say, hey, drivers are loaded. We're good to go. So now... Uh, go back over here and save this profile. verify that I saved it. I was dealing with some audio problems. I do apologize. This is recorded after the fact because I did have some audio quality issues. So this is being recorded on my cell phone now. now I'm saving it. I'm going to rename it to uh, 2150 1175. So this is all I know that what settings to use because I use multiple profiles on, on this machine because there are actually three different settings I have to run here. Now, as I was recording the video, I was setting it up so that we had 11, we had this set up for the one machine, for the three of the video cards, and the fourth one, I wasn't sure what the value was because we did just update the driver. But sometimes that does go ahead and change the way it runs. <clears throat> Loading profile does save a lot of time, so you don't have to keep going through and changing these values all the time. Now, I initially thought that I would put this at uh, 2090 as the setting, and sometimes um, when you set the clock, uh, it goes ahead and doesn't quite give you the right value. You'll see that happen here in a few minutes. Um, so this is actually GPU 2, and the last one is GPU 4. Um, and that has to run at 30 at 2090. So as we run through the the claymore here, we will see that look at our values. We're hoping to have 150 to 152 mega hash off this machine. It is a five card rig. Yeah, we started off at 150 and then we slid down to 147 but then what happened is GPU 2 for some reason slid all the way down I couldn't, and we had to figure out troubleshoot as to why that happened so in a moment here you'll see why that happened now right here I'm hitting the minus sign to adjust the DCRI value uh, you can move that up and down, which will actually do some minor adjustments to your rig. Sometimes you can get uh, up to one or two mega hash improvement just by adding that with the Claymore Miner. Uh, typically, I run mine at about nine or ten. All right, so my next value is to go ahead and look at this and see if the, which card we set. Because at the time, I wasn't sure what, which card we set. Um, because, unfortunately, due to the way the driver handles, 
the first card listed is not GPU zero. It is actually a different number. The second to last card is GPU two, and the very last card is GPU four. And it's not very clear as to which one it is. The only way you can find out is I, what I do is I watch the temperature. I look to see what the temperature reading is on it, or if I see a card failing, I'll look and see. So right here we got 19 mega hash. We are at 29. So that. <clears throat> So here I'm going to go ahead and drop it down and verify that this is indeed the right one. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a 2100 because I'm trying to troubleshoot to figure out why it is the value isn't the right value. So initially I put the, the, the core speed up to see what it did. Knowing this machine, I knew that it would either go up or go down. Now typically when you're trying to overclock, you're going to go ahead and push the volume up a little bit. All right, right here, uh, the machine did crash and it reset the driver. So you go, so set everything back to where it was supposed to be. So I went ahead at that point, adjusted it to the profile of 2090, and I tried a different higher value one more time, which was 2150. Um, we saved it, and then go ahead and, and as soon as I launched the miner we get a nice crash. Um, I actually locked up the whole machine where I had to actually reboot power it off. So if you wait here a second, you'll see what's going to happen. As you can see, the machine is now locked up. The, the setting just reset. That was the video card crashing because I pushed the the uh, core speed too high. So at this point, I went ahead and uh, utilized the TP link that uh, I received from Digital Gold. I absolutely love that device. Thank you very much, uh, Jared. I'll open up my cell phone. I can just power off my machines, and power it back on, and it will. Uh, boot right back up into Windows automatically. Um, it's a real nice setting, real, makes life a lot easier, so I don't have to be home in order to restart my stuff when I'm out at client sites and other things. So it's a lot less stress on my, on my part, because I'll get notified when the miner goes down. And I'll know right away if it'll turn that machine back on. So this chart here on the left, is uh, Bitcoin ETH. Uh, that is a trading pair on Binance. That is the actual value. That big red line you see there that goes all the way up top, that was when the fork happened. So you see there was a huge sell-off uh, that happened with the bot with the huge buying right right when the fork happened. And the chart right below that is U is Ethereum USDT. You'll see that the same point in time at two o'clock when when the fork happened the same spike in buys and sells also happened but then we went ahead and dropped down a little bit but as the day is going on we've slowly recovered back to where we were before the fork even happened in the first place and if you just look here on the right uh, right below that's the miner that is the uh Difficulty hash rate currently going on. You can see there was really not much change from when the fork occurred. So now the machine's back up. We're going to go ahead and lo launch uh, the AMD again. And as a result of the crash, um, the driver actually did reset completely. See, as you say, 
as you can see, the settings completely reset as a result of the hard crash which we had that occurred. So the solution to that is to go ahead and load the profiles back up again. And this time, instead of going up with the with the frequency of GPU two, I'm gonna go ahead and drop it down to two thousand. And you'll see that uh, we actually get our proper speeds. Let's hit the last card to 2150. This seems to be stable with that. Um, initially, I set the last card to 2150 and set the card to 2090. Left it at 2090 because I was looking to see if that was actually uh, why we were getting under performance on the on that uh, device. I'm bringing in the image here. This minor three is actually the 590 and the Vega Frontier. Uh, machine. I will be uh, adding that content to this stream as well once I finish up fixing the other machine. And you can see both those cards are having uh, exclamation points. The uh, Vega 11 is actually the AMD 2400G so and that is working, so I may just have to update the driver on that, but we'll come back to that in a minute. Right now, I'm just waiting for the minor number six to go ahead and start up here. still waiting to see the speed we get here it's make sure that it actually completes so if you look and see we got 29 and we got 30 and cpu 2 is number 19 mega hash again so then i decide okay obviously going up isn't it and having the last card on 2100 isn't making a difference so we'll go ahead and drop it down to 2000 at that point we'll go ahead and launch the miner one more time and you'll see that we'll be getting 152 mega hash, which is fantastic, which is what we expect to get for this miner. We have a five card rig, averaging 30 mega hash per card. And that is the goal, which uh, we set to accomplish here. So. And that BTC is just, just going nowhere. Difficulty did uh, literally not move at all. So I went ahead and closed the chart. There's only to have that under right now. And we'll work on uh, making so you can see both the USD value as well as the BTC value while I'm working on both these machines. Uh, we should right here get a reading which shows you what the actual value we're getting for this miner. And there you go, 150, 151. That is a beautiful thing. It is uh, sleep well now that this machine's back up. There you go. We slipped down to 150 a little bit, but we're not going to go down a little bit lower. We still got everything going at 30. And yeah, each car is reading 29, but overall, uh, you've got the extra hash in GPU one, which is okay. And that machine is done.